Well, good afternoon, everyone. Summer break is over. The time to relax has all stopped now. And after one of the worst races in Formula One history 12 months ago here at the Belgian Grand Prix, let's hope today is one of the best. And it's a certain mixed up grid. And there's going to be an awful lot of action around this classic circuit, which looks an absolute picture today. It is packed full to the brim and the sun is shining. Seven kilometers long, 4.35 miles, two DRS zones for overtaking, some of the best corners, some of the fastest straights on the Formula One calendar, and 20 of the best drivers going wheel to wheel around 44 laps. There are 19 corners. You take your lap distance at full throttle for 80% of the lap, and this in 2020 through Eau Rouge looks a little bit different uh, back in those days with Sergio Perez behind eventually Pierre Gasly. Uh, let's go to the Lake Comte chicane. Good spot for overtaking here. This is Ricardo and Verstappen a couple of years ago. Uh, the Renault at that stage of Daniel Ricardo, the Red Bull of Max Verstappen uh, getting ahead, coming out of Malmody, the highest points on the circuit. And this towards the bus stop chicane. Alex Albon on a late charge, two point scoring finishes and two starts here at Spa. This time in the Red Bull getting past the man who eventually took his seat, Sergio Perez. At the three tyre compounds for today, in the heat and the extra track temperature, will the soft tyre last long enough to make it an effective tyre. That's the C4. The medium should be a very good race tyre. Expect the hards to come into play. That's the C2 for today. So let's give you a starting grid. And as Martin Brundle said on the grid walk, not one single driver in the same position that they qualified. Sonoda starts in the pit lane, Schumacher in 19th, Joe Guan Yu in 18th, and Lando Norris starts 17th. Now ahead of Lando Norris comes Esteban Ocon in the Alpine, and Charles Leclerc, who's never finished on the podium from outside the top seven. Max Verstappen starts 14th. He's won three times, uh, he's got on the podium three times from 16th or lower. See what he can do from 14th today. Nicholas Latifi starts 11th for Williams, Kevin Magnussen 12th uh, for Haas. Two Aston Martins in the top 10 for the first time this season. Vettel 10th, Lance Stroll is 9th and ahead of those comes Pierre Gasly, his best start since Baku, Daniel Ricciardo his best start since Imola. Alex Albon, very quick in a straight line yesterday, is 6th and the highest start for Williams. Uh, George Russell starts 5th for Mercedes with Lewis Hamilton, still no top 3 start for him this season in 4th. His old teammate McLaren Fernando Alonso's 3rd, Sergio Perez on the front row, 150th front row start for Red Bull. Carlos Sainz on pole for the second time in his career and the Max Verstappen right in the thick of it in the midfield. Sainz on pole, Perez alongside him. It's lights out and away we go. Sainz reacts quickly as on the run down to Eau Rouge we go now. It's Hamilton, here comes Hamilton into the Lacombe chicane and they make contact. Hamilton rises up into the air. He's made contact with Fernando Alonso. George Russell goes through. I think Hamilton's got problems. He's got problems with the underneath of his car. He's bound to crack some aerodynamic parts there, and he will be struggling. As Ocon loses a place and onto the gravel, the Williams spinning and then tagging the Alfa Romeo, Nicholas Latifi. So stop, 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 stop. What an idiot closing the door from the outside. We had a mega start, but yeah, this guy only knows how to drive for starting first. Hamilton is out of this race. So they've seen something they don't quite like on Charles Leclerc's uh, Ferrari. So there was a, a tear off inside the front right brake cooling. We removed it. Everything should be OK now. There's a couple of car lengths between Ricardo and Verstappen. That is getting overhauled quite substantially. Into the bus stop chicane we go. Max Verstappen started 14th, is now up into sixth place. So we saw what Max Verstappen did to Daniel Ricciardo on the last lap. Here's Sebastian Vettel now on the outside and Max Verstappen on the inside. Eight and a half miles an hour, extra pace. Fernando Alonso moves aside, lets Max Verstappen go through because he knows there's no point fighting it. He just hasn't got the tools to do it. got to pass a car, at least one car, every lap. What, like that? Yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> Max Verstappen just proving your point as you were even delivering the line. He is now up into the podium places. And, and now they're in for the undercut situation, aren't they? As along the Camel Strait, Max Verstappen gets past his teammate Sergio Perez and Carlos Sainz 
comes uh, back out onto the track. Our race leader behind Daniel Ricciardo and ahead of Lance Verstappen was 22 seconds at the end of the last lap ahead of Charles Leclerc. Crofty held a little bit there, but on he goes. George Russell's gaining. He's gaining. He's gaining, and he's just ahead. Under braking, George Russell punts his Mercedes ahead of the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc and up into fourth place. I rather think Max Verstappen is about to retake the lead. Max Verstappen into Le Comte Chicane leads the Belgian Grand Prix once more, and they rather like that, those that have dressed in orange. Sergio Perez is closing in on Carlos Sainz, and Sainz, I think, knew long before Perez got alongside him he wasn't going to be able to fight that for much longer. It's Verstappen 1, Perez 2, Red Bull out in front. Lovely work from Sebastian Vettel into turn one, allowed Pierre Gasly to go a little bit deeper and then got him. The Alpine of Ocon <laughs> goes round the outside. Uh, Vettel is going to go into the uh, right hander now and retake that position on Pierre Gasly going through uh, through Rivage. That's the second time in this race Ocon's taken two cars in one corner, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Alonso makes his way out of the first corner and he's only a couple of car lengths behind. Fernando Alonso is going to make that a little bit tough by getting past. Charles Leclerc pulls out from behind the Alpine, does snatch back that fifth place from Fernando Alonso. So it's all well that ends well for Charles Leclerc. It's all well that ends well for Max Verstappen, who's sliding his way out of the final corner and taking the line, winning the Belgium Grand Prix. As champion, he's gone away for a rest in the summer. He's come back and he's looked better than ever. This was a class performance from Max Verstappen, who wins for the second year in a row, the Belgian Grand Prix. The hardest bit was lap one to stay out of trouble because uh, it was very hectic in front of me and I just really didn't want to be involved. Um, but yeah, we came through quite quite well. Um, then, you know, it come down with the safety car and basically from there on was literally uh, basically trying to overtake a car every lap. And then once I realized I was third, I could see, you know, we can win this race. So. It's a great team result. Uh, obviously, always welcome a one-two for the team. You know, it boosts everyone. Everyone's working so hard, so it's always a, a great result. But um, yeah, on the other hand, I'm, I'm aware of the gap to Max, so something we, we have to understand as a team to make sure we, we are able to come back stronger for, for Sanford. First couple of laps, I felt like we, we had a good chance to, to stay ahead, but then we immediately went into high degradation, a lot of overheating on, the, on all four tires, and we started to lose grip, and Red Bull were just in a league of their own in terms of degradation and pace this weekend. The thing that is strange is that the fitting is quite okay inside the car. 
but then you look at the pace compared to the Red Bull and they are on another planet completely. So, uh, yeah, we need to understand and, and, and hopefully in, by Zandvoort we understand and we, we come back to uh, as close as Red Bull as we were in the first part of the season. Yeah, I had a really good time on Fernando and did a, did a move down the outside. Got up um, alongside him a little bit ahead of him. Um, I thought that I left enough room and I didn't. And, uh, and I paid the price for it, so it's my it's my fault. And um, just really sorry to my team, really. Uh, yeah.